Welcome to the Focus First Pricing Tutorials. My name is Jonathan DeLeon and I'm the Business Development Manager at Focus First as well as your guide today. In this video, we're going to go over the basic or standard MLS search that you will use to get the right data for the program on most of the homes that you price. So let's jump into it. In order for the Focus First Pricing software to really make graphs correctly, you have to search for the right data. Now the key thing to remember here is it's not just the data that you would normally search for when pricing a home, but it's the data that's right for the software. You need a little bit bigger scope and a little bit more historical information to create trends to be able to predict the future. So let's go over the basic standard search and when you'd use that. Now the standard searching criteria will be the majority of your pricing. And this is when homes fall into a specific well-defined neighborhood. In this case, when you're doing your pricing search, you're gonna search by that neighborhood for the last two years, all status activity, and for the same property type. What we mean by this is single family homes will only be searched for if you're pricing a single family home. If you're pricing a multifamily or a condo or a town home, you're gonna search for that property type as well. As simple as that, that will be your base search that you're gonna load into the program. From that, you'll create your odds, your time to sell, your buying pattern, and your pricing scattergram. Now from your pricing scattergram, what you're gonna do is find a competitive price range. Now the competitive price range is pretty simple when you really think about it, but it's kind of one of those things that gets lost in the wash. So very quickly, let me just make an impression on you. Your competitive price range is the range that your buyers will be looking for when they're searching in the MLS or on Zillow. So for example, if you're thinking about pricing a home around 175,000, you're gonna be looking from the 150 to 200,000 competitive price range. This gives you a little bit more of a, a large grouping because someone that's gonna buy a $200,000 house might be willing to go down and somebody that's buying 150,000 might be able to find some gift funds somewhere to move up and make an offer on that property. Okay, now usually we say try and keep it in the middle, but if you're gonna be pricing at 310,000, you're probably gonna look from 300 to 350 because that's the, the price range you're gonna look at. So once you have that competitive price range, you're gonna then move on to the next one here, the positioning search. So you're gonna look by a comparable locale, which in many cases could be a city, or it could be an area of a city. You're the real estate agent, and you'll know your area better than most. So you're gonna find the area that is most comparable to your buyers when they're searching for that price range. You're gonna search in that area for that competitive price range. Again, last two years, all set activity and the same property type. Now this is for positioning. So you're gonna position against currently for sale and under contract properties. So why would you need all status activity for the last two years? Again, it's not the data that you need, it's the data that the program needs. It needs that information to run true and correct historical uh, algorithms. That way it can predict the future and give you a, a picture of what's coming down the road in the market. Hopefully this video helped you learn the Focus First Pricing tool. If you wanna see more videos like this, and additional videos we release, make sure you subscribe to our Focus First YouTube channel. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.